Hello, Mr. Rabbit here. I'm back with the projectile part three. As I, I, I didn't expect that it's going to be long. But anyway, I'm back. And now, we're trying to. Oh, yeah, we go back here first. So, we're trying to reference this player field. Okay, but we can't because it's not generated yet. So, what we can do here is go here on mob unit, this mob right here. Go to your prefab. Actually, I should click here. Asset. Okay, go to your prefab and then go for mob mushroom and this one. Double click this and this will appear as also double click on mob unit. So now what we're gonna do is we need to reference it. Okay, through script. So what we're gonna do is go for private. Uh, serialize. Oh no no no. Private game object and then we're just gonna name it the same player field okay player field and then we say player field uh game object fine uh you passing string here so it should be the same name as this literally the same so to be sure i'm just gonna click here and then f2 and then, and then control c for copy and then copy paste it here okay just to make sure and you can just type it if, if you're uh, confident you know that's just for the headache that maybe it's wrong anyway control s and uh after that after that now it's here so we'll go back to our player field here we're gonna go back to our player field and then double click here you see that we make it public that this one get get unit we want to get it pretty much okay okay you, you just uh click uh control then tab okay to go back to your previous script so it's here to our mob unit or if you're getting confused we just go with it manually okay go back to our mob mushroom here and also this one okay and then after that we gotta go and player field and then dot uh get component the player field then that one arrow and then i forgot what it's called we call it arrow but there are parentheses close parentheses that get unit okay now we have the unit the so game this is this unit is the origin okay the one that to, was going to cast to this mob okay now we need to go back to our game caster okay oh it's already here but we just I'm just gonna go here and okay and then click here game caster and then double click game caster so you see this pram parameter have an origin the one of casting and then the target so what we're gonna do is we need to get the game caster this one too okay so what we're gonna do here is go back to our mob unit and then by private game object and then the game caster this one so game caster it should be the same you know game actually you can you can name it whatever you want but it's better to be descriptive right so game game underscore caster okay and i'm just copy paste this one okay and then copy paste copy this and paste it here and then to make sure yeah it's the same i'm just copy it here okay now we have it now after that we're gonna go for game caster and then dot get component game caster i did be able to just go and uh, if you the reason why this working right here this is a script 
our script is the same as this one right same as this is the name of the game object and this is the name of the of the script they all the same name hmm? this is what i'm saying that's why it's convenient it to just you know be the same name that's why i'm always do most of the time so you gotta go and game caster hey check again oh yeah oh caster it's called caster okay open it that caster so this caster will need the, the one that is casting and then the target the target is this one right so what we're gonna do is just uh erase this column cut this here this is the caster and the, the origin of the uh and the projectile okay and then this is we're gonna pass this game object this mob right here okay pretty much okay now we control save and go back to game caster right now it's not doing anything we need to initiate it okay initiate it and also put it on the world uh game object under it so we need to reference it mm. so serialize field private game object and then world okay and then i tend to forget it so i might as well do it now reference it now we go to our game caster and then reference this one you see that it's empty this one this world right here oh wow it's oh huh? wait what oh i mess up i mess up oh, no that game world game object i'm wondering why this is the reason anyway that's it now we reference it grab it then drop it here and come back to our script and now we are going to generate it so instantiate then origin unit actually this is the one that uh, the one we're passing here first it should be the projectile okay but what we're gonna do first i forgot is we're just gonna make a game object game object and then call this uh setup this is how i do it and then equals projectile okay this projectile have a script too right this one same name so okay what we're gonna do here is this uh setup we we did pass this one make this equal so this game object setup is pr practically this one okay so set up we setting up it uh, we setting it up before we actually uh pawn it hmm. so set up that get component projectile and also now if we go back to our projectile script we need to pass we need to build this origin and then the target okay so we passing that so we're gonna pass origin and then this one yeah okay and then and just copy paste this one and then do this and do this yeah now it's okay now after that this is where we're gonna generate it instantiate so in instantiate then if you if it disappearing on your uh on your how do i say it mm, what is this again on on your ide what i'm using right now visual studio if if this one is appearing we just click tab okay then this one hmm 
And after that, we just put this one. Actually, it should be a tra it should it should be game object it should be transformed, but it's fine, I guess. It's fine. So it's there already. So world that transform. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much it. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Mm. So after that, we'll see if it's working now. When we click it, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. Let's see. <laughs> it did work, but it's way too high. You see? You saw that? I think you saw that. You see that? <laughs> it's way too high. And it's, uh, I guess, if we go back to our, <laughs> our projectile, we make it the duration, we make it two, I guess. And that the power is way too high. Make it five, I guess. Jump power. Okay. Control S. And go back. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm so yeah this one we're gonna use a are we gonna use okay, anyway I'm lost for a second there now let's see <laughs> it's working see that oh oh no, it feels it feel like a firework, but it's working. See that? But you see the, the thing here. Uh, we need to make it when it when it's finally there, and we need we need it to expire because it's not it's not expiring right now. But it's working, right? Very okay. good. <laughs> see that it's really great okay so what we're gonna do there is on it on uh once it get to its destination we want it to just explode okay that's what we're gonna do now so now we're going back to our assets here prefab and then effects then projectile then what we need to go for is Go for projectile again, and then I guess for now we just go for this serialized field, private game object, and then um, this VFX. This is just temporary, okay? We got we go into change that afterward. I just want to make it work for now. Hmm. Mm, this is the one that is gonna spawn this one and just we're just gonna call it v vfx spawn i guess yeah and here is serialized field private call this the generated uh oh wow generated generated vfx vfx okay Mm. That's the plan. Okay. So now what we're going for is once it gets to its destination, we want it to explode, right? So what we need to do is we go for private void and then explode. Okay. Explore parenthesis and curly base. Okay. So first we need to go for uh, this hmm, that on complete. See that? And then you pass this explore on complete. 
Wait, is it on complete? Let me just check. On complete. On complete. Yeah, this one. Hmm. Oh, it's it's this one yeah oh that's very confusing sometimes okay after that when it's reached destination it will now explode but what we need to do is we need to actually we need to disable this to disable this when it's reach the uh, destination okay so that's what we're gonna do so i'm just gonna make a list here so, yeah this one tab no 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 i'm just type all of it sitting on this field uh private list and then game object and then uh i just call it project i guess i guess yeah this one roll s and go for that hmm and now we need to lock this click this projectile and also click this and then click this main and then shift hold shift and then click this and then hold uh, drag and drop it to projectile so it's here okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable this Oh, okay okay we just make a loop for loop oh wow what why it's shortcut yeah that's what this is what we're gonna do for loop then projectiles and i then set active set active to fall okay and now we going to generate this one so what we're gonna do is instantiate instantiate uh, uh it's instantiate and then did pass this one and then go for comma new vector three and then quaternion identity and then go for transform this transform right here is repairing to this object we want this the one we instantiate we want it to be the the child of this game object okay that's what we want and we store it we just store it here okay I'm just gonna just make it just to be sure that transform that local position all to vector I think not there's a zero here right zero yeah this one okay let's see control save control save and then now it's here right okay this is cluster so much i need to make space here so we need to put space here and then yeah type this and i just copy and paste it so it does so it's not confusing okay Control s because it's way too near to each other it's very confusing now okay so what we're gonna do here is click to our assets here and then go to our travis no no not, not travis not prefab effects and the one we did before this one so we just drag it to our vfx point that one actually this one generated we don't need it to serialize you don't want you don't need to see that so Control S 
fine. We should be fine. We should be fine now. Let's see now. We should be fine. And also, when it explodes, if we want this game object to die, uh, let's say 10 seconds from now, destroy it. We want it to destroy, not die. Very violent. Just put it like game object uh 10 yeah destroy this game object upon explode after 10 seconds okay see let's see if it works if it's not well Yeah, <laughs> it's working. See that? Ooh, boom. But it's small. We we just go back to our VFX here. VFX on. We just make it large, I guess. Let's make it, try to make it three to scale. All this here, make it three. Let's see how it goes. It works now, it works. Boom. <laughs> See that? I think two seconds is way too much. Yeah? I think two seconds is way too much. We're just gonna go for like 1.2, I guess. 1.2, yeah. Let's float. Okay. we try that. Hmm. Let's see, it's working, so everything's going fine. Boom. It's working. See that? But there's no casting, there's no casting animation there. That's what we're gonna do. Next. <laughs> it works. Ba 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 Hmm? And just I can spam it. It's fine. You see that? <laughs> it's very easy, right? Hmm. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to be uh, gone for now. Thank you. If you want to support me, just refer on my Patreon or share my video. Thank you. Thank you so much.